for you. So a couple of news stories this week. Probably the big one of the week was the discovery that the new season of Attack on Titan is only going to be 12 episodes. I think everyone was expecting at least 26. But the official Twitter account revealed, uh, I think this was on Thursday, that there'll be a total of two Blu-ray discs and DVD sets, each containing six episodes. So it is going to be just 12 episodes for Attack on Titan. What's interesting about that is that shonen anime often have this reputation for dragging things out. So it looks like for Attack on Titan, they're really trying to be more um, restrained with their release. We're just get a few episodes and then they'll stop. And then they'll come back maybe and do a few more seasons. So that's kind of interesting. We'll see where that goes. But that's, you know, again, um, somewhat surprising that they're going in that direction. Um, moving over to some release news or some uh, actually um, crowd crowdfunding news. There was a, a Mind Game Blu-ray. There's this anime film called Mind Game that came out, I think, 12 years ago now. And the, uh, the it's never had a high-def release. It's a very weird sort of experimental anime film. It doesn't look like anime, if you will. Uh, it was by Masaki Yuasa, who did lots of interesting stuff. And there's a Kickstarter uh, for an international Blu-ray release. It's basically for all regions except Japan. And it reached, it reached its funding goal in less than a day, which is pretty awesome. One of the best things they did is that they kept the goal low. So only, um, they're trying to raise basically six, uh, $5,600 uh, US uh, just to hit their, their funding goal. So they hit that and it's, it's skyrocketing on. So that's good because crowdfunding of things like, you know, Blu-ray releases for these older works is a little harder. So I think it makes sense for them to, to do that, to make it kind of a little... Um, um, to put out there to fans rather than trying to find a licensor who fronts the money, you know, just just get the money and, and do it that way. I think that makes a lot of sense. Uh, let's see here. Moving on. Um, oh, this is kind of a, a fun one. So Anime Boston has announced they'll, they'll be hosting the president and uh, staff member from Studio Bones. Uh, they worked on Bebop the movie, uh, all sorts of other stuff. The president is Masahiko Minami, who produced G Gundam, Cowboy Bebop, SBT Lazner, City Honey, C City Hunter, Escaflone. Uh, he was uh, one of the founder of Bones, along with other members from Sunrise, who went on from there. Um, and uh, uh, he was a producer on lots of the, their other stuff: Full Metal Alchemist, Eureka Seven, Space Dandy, Mob Psycho 100, Snow White, The Red Hair. Um, and Anime Boston had also already announced that they'd done, that they were bringing in um, Shingo Natsume, the director and producer Hirokatsu Kihara, uh, who worked on, oh gosh, Space Dandy, One Punch Man, FMA. Um, Kihara actually worked at, at Studio Ghibli on Castle in the Sky, Totoro Kikis. So that's pretty cool. That's a pretty impressive group that they've got uh, coming up there at Anime Boston, which, uh, you know, wish I could go. What can you do? Speaking of Gundam, um, Crunchyroll has announced that they have added G Gundam, Mobile Fighter G Gundam, to their roster, uh, which means that there's quite a bit of Gundam now available on Crunchyroll. Uh, you can actually get um, Gundam Build Fighters, I think Build Fighters Try is on there too, and a Gundam Wing, a variety of different Gundam uh, series. So if you want to get into Gundam, Crunchyroll has a good chunk of it covered, right? Stuff's licensed, some other stuff. Um, but, I mean, it's it's a good time for Gundam fans to get a lot of that stuff. So that's, I think that's, that's pretty cool. Uh, 